You can't respect someone if you don't want to get married to them? Or, no, uh, no, you, no, 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 not at all. I, I re- maybe I should have framed that the other way, but... My partner, I certainly hope so. Okay. I just, I feel like you said a few things, like, I don't care if she's funny, I don't care if she has personality, which is totally fine, you know? S- well, I don't... I think you said bland. The funny thing, you yes. You like a boring girl. I think you said bland, but I just, you know, I, I am wondering, like, is respect you feel for your partner i think this might play into the smart thing like i feel that i am most respected when someone understands my intelligence so is the person you see yourself with long term a smart intellectual that you respect she she need not necessarily be smart or intellectual i i don't have anything but against you, i've dated women who are I mean, I you would have say, a, you hold have, on let me finish i've dated women who i would say are smarter than me in fact i'd honestly say that the previous girl i dated was she's a phd studying like brain something with Uh the brain like probably at least on book wise smarter than me more intelligent than me perhaps in other facets i'm more intelligent than her but um i'm open to dating a girl who's more intelligent than me but it's not like i don't care like it's not really part of the equation i just i feel like that's so funny because you run a podcast like you must like good conversation don't you want to be with someone that can hold a good conversation and add something to it i mean like if she can if i can have a conversation with her but i don't need a girl who's like got insane charisma and can tell good stories and has a witty comeback to like everything okay it's a very low priority okay i don't care i care about other personality traits chiefly does she bring me peace that's the most important yeah. thing personality wise a girl can bring me because mm-hmm. i have a very stressful job the last thing i want to do is have a girlfriend that's always wanting to argue yeah we're always in some sort of conflict mm-hmm. the biggest thing a girl can bring me personality wise is peace and calm you okay i have a brother I love him very much and he tells me about what he wants in like a girlfriend or like somebody to like be with for a very long time it's just like like the compassion and empathy and like just to have somebody like to be there with him for him and to like support him and just he said just don't make our lives hard <laughs> yeah i mean and also i think one of the reasons why women tend to want intelligent men is if you're intelligent then you're more capable of providing uh provisioning if you're intelligent like intelligent people tend to be higher earners whereas like we as men we don't really care about a woman's ambition or her excuse me or her success do you have a response do you have a thought on that no no comment actually rin oh she's waking up (laughs) I just like just the stuff we were talking about before like you guys you know you guys had it down that's why I didn't really say anything but like um what were we talking about we were talking what? about um uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah 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 yeah. so a, a lot of men like they want like they want their women to help them feel more masculine like my dad he like he likes dating girls that like he can take care of because he feels more like Mm-hmm. You know, like he, they like feeling like yeah, men. That makes they sense. like feeling masculine. And, and I think that stuff. plays into the fact that, you know, men and women have different roles in yeah. life. And I think that in a perfect relationship, a man brings out a woman's femininity and a woman brings out a man's masculinity. Okay. So things like opening a woman's door should play into that. Okay. Thank but, first date. <laughs> but, okay. So <laughs> you kind of made a grimace when I said, most men don't really care about a woman's ambition or her success. What, Sophia, you made the face too. What? I don't even think that's true. I, okay, th- this is this is why All, I make a grimace okay. because one day hope to be a great wife, and I just I I want to believe that that is not true. I I think that you know when you're born you have somewhat of a personality and my whole life I've been ambitious and I want big things for myself and I look at that as a pro. So whether a man, you know, doesn't does or doesn't value that, you know, I wouldn't want to be with a man who just wants a trophy wife. You know, I I want someone who can respect what I'm doing and care about me. You know, I'm not just a physical object like I do and and I totally agree. The best thing in a relationship is when you bring each other peace. Like I so the grimace comes from the fact that like I I don't 
believe that you know it's a turnoff for guys that I have. I'm not saying it's a turnoff, but I, men don't really prioritize it. Okay. It's not. It can be a turnoff in the sense that if you want to be successful in business or in mm-hmm. the corporate world, world, excuse me, you need to cultivate a certain cutthroatness yeah. that you wouldn't otherwise need to cultivate. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you, we spend most of our time at work. When you start becoming cutthroat in the corporate world, yeah. in business, that's going to seep into your broader personality. Yeah, so, I, I totally understand. I grew up with so corporate be, parents and my dad's an attorney. So so I haven't had to be in the work so, world and to well, you get those that, you, things. You mentioned attorneys. Attorneys are typically dis, have to be very disagreeable. Yes. So for example, a female attorney, she's going to have to cultivate her ability to be disagreeable because there's mm-hmm. negotiations. There's totally. You need to know that you, you like very much much by mm-hmm. the rules and by the book. Mm-hmm. So it's not necessarily like you can still be very feminine and also be successful, mm-hmm. but a lot of women who are get into the corporate world become very they successful. Lose that they do lose a little bit of it. But the, the main thing that I would say to this, is not so much that it's, uh, you, you were like, oh, well, I, I would hope that a guy cares about my success and ambition. All of you at this table, said that you want the guy to pay for the first date. I assume you also want that guy to continue providing throughout the relationship. Men don't care about your money and your ambition and your success chiefly because you do not share your resources with men the same way that men share your their resources with women. All of you said you want the guy to pay for the first date. The first date So we don't receive a benefit. Men don't receive a tangible benefit by your success. I don't think that that's true at all. I so all the th- girls here said they'd want the guy to the pay for the first, first date. I do, but I let's say we're you know we're married. If if a man and a woman are married and a woman has income, I, you know I would it's hope that she helps income. pay some bills. They joint their and I think that together. that's okay. Uh, you know unless the man is so you know stable that he can take care of the bo- both of them, or let's, the woman is choosing to be a mother and she wants to devote her time there. Okay, but there are definitely women that even beyond the first date still want the guy to continue paying for dates there are some women i you know couple i I can prove it like uh, did you want to continue yeah i i think that a lot of reasonable women would say into the relationship if you have shown your interest in me enough a by asking me out and treating me well and putting your card down the first couple of dates i said i'm happy to start you know paying splitting tipping this that the other after the first couple dates if i know that i like you i would love to be in a relationship where I do this for you and you do this for me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I, I think I think what a lot of men have yeah. a problem with like the boss babe thing and why the boss babe thing isn't appealing is because we kind of have this expectation that he should be okay with being second to a career where like your your boss that you work for will replace you tomorrow mm-hmm. and your man will not. I think that's what men have a very big mm-hmm. problem with when it comes to well, you know, I want this high status profession. He's like Okay, well, how much am I going to matter? Because there's there's also been, and this would be anecdotal, right? But there's been conversations where um, men have asked their women to quit their jobs because it's dysfunctional with the family. There's something going wrong. And the woman says, like, no, absolutely, I will not quit my job. So you're literally choosing you know, your, your boss who would replace you over him. And that's not okay. And I don't think your, your job should come first as a man either. But I think oftentimes, because th- family should be first, but like if you're a man and you have to deal with being in this high status profession to create that umbrella of uh, financial security, like, yeah, it's okay if your family's on the back burner because they're not truly on the back burner for your career. You're going through that so that you can benefit them. Like what? What man wants to be second to a career? Like the the our com- oh. these companies don't care about us. Like I, I don't think I he's like be second this to is a, a really circumstantial kind of thing. And yeah. it's, it's, like, it's not that it's not that circumstantial. Like I'm not second in my job. Like I can't. No one's gonna. Th- I mean, of course, everyone's somewhat replaceable. But it's like I feel like you're just kind of spewing like these words, but they don't really have any meaning. So I have a question. I can give it is to your you. answer to all of this that women shouldn't work? Or that, you know, I should quit my job because, I mean, my dad's not paying my rent. Like, someone's got to do that. Attorney? So, Hello? Yeah. No. He, he, he raised me him? right. He, yeah. you know, this he also is, said. Like, first of all, you said that this is, like, circumstantial, right? And there's also, like, broad swaths of data 
or like these are things that are going to happen to women. They're already happening. Like when we're talking about making women equal to men in the marketplace, in the job marketplace, it sounds good. There are unintended consequences. One unintended consequence is like 50% of women are projected to be single in 2030. No, 45% of women from ages 25 to 44, right? So we, Because of their job? No, because of like, because of being past the industrial revolution mm -hmm. and because of economic mobility, mm -hmm. right? That this is the unintended consequence of the boss babe culture. That's one aspect. And then we have this other aspect, 50.1% of women in the UK are childless by age 30. That's another statistic. So like we've made it to this point where like we've made ourselves completely equal to men. And it's like, that sounds really good in theory, but if you're going to be like a mom and have children, you're gonna have to make compromises and structure your life differently. And a lot of women, like they're not getting this, you know what I mean? So I'm not saying like you need to quit your job and you need to stay home, mm -hmm. right? But we need to like plan and act accordingly and putting a career ahead of your man is not a good way to get there because he's probably gonna need to cover you. Like a lot of this gender equality stuff sounds really cool and like all this independence. A lot of women who say this have not reproduced. I have very much needed to depend on my husband in my pregnancy, first trimester, last trimester. Any woman who's had a child knows this, but we want to pretend like it doesn't exist. And I think that the reason why we have these like made up constructs, because you know, like everything's a social construct, is because we just are not seeing people get married and build families. No one is pretending like it doesn't exist, and no one said that they would put their job over their husband ever. Right. No one, no one said that. Okay. Like, I feel like that's another thing that you're kind of just making up. Like, I bet every. I think person you have super valid can, points. I understand what you're yeah. saying, but I feel like every person here would say, "Of course, I would choose my family and my husband over my job any day." And I think that your idea of this boss babe thing is like what you're making up in your head, but you're not considered a boss babe. You don't have a job. You don't, right? You don't. I mean, I, I do, I do work, but that's like it's. You know what I mean? Like, income. but I mean, like you don't have like a traditional job. Like, so I feel like you kind of can't really speak on it because you're not in. I don't. I, I don't. Shoes. I understand that you have a baby and you have a husband and you're in those shoes, but I don't think that like. Okay. You're trying to speak on the boss babe thing, but you don't really um, fully get it. Like I'm giving you objective truths that I can prove. I also have them on my phone. I will give them to you immediately mm -hmm. after the show. Like these are the consequences. I believe you. That's okay. Th these are the consequences of us putting careers ahead of men. Like that's the Who's thing. Who's doing so, that? Well, a this is this is why. Of, hold on, hold on. Like women are putting careers ahead of men to the point that they would rather have that job than be with a man. Then that's you don't have crazy. to do that. Huh? Then you don't have to do that. Like, can you can you explain? If you don't want to do that, then don't do that. If you don't, I don't if you think don't want, that if the majority, do what? if you don't want to put your job over your okay. husband, then don't do that. I mean, you don't even have a corporate job. You know what I mean? And I think that you're saying, mm -hmm. well, women do that. Where? Who? When? Like, I, like this is this is what I'm saying. My subjective experience does not influence the numbers that I'm giving you. This is like to the point, this is the breakdown of the nuclear family. And this was all because we're talking about like careers and men taking a second seat to careers, right? This is the projection, like there are big banks and companies that are investing in like wine and cat food and stuff because they know that there's gonna be a bunch of us that are single, mm -hmm. right? So like what you guys are saying, your career is important. Just don't forget that your man and your family should come before it. Okay, no, thank, America, you. thank you. We'll get rid of you thank you so much for for re you know reinstating that because mm -hmm. I I believe that we all agree with you and I think that that's why we're becoming disengaged is because we all agree with you and it, there's just so much we can hear about it. We all agree okay. with you. I okay, feel. let me let's let's move it along a little bit. I'll just add a couple things here. So when it comes to the employer dynamic, so a lot of women are trading instead of being submissive to a husband, they're gonna be submissive to an employer. Mm -hmm. 